All right, sorry about that. Got interrupted. Needed to stop. So, anyways, I'm looking here at number one here at the bottom of the first the the, the first page. So it's six. Uh, whoops, I should have put a six plus. The way that's written, if it's if it was six and then I had the parentheses seven over three times nine, that would be six times whatever's in there. But um, you guys won't have to worry about that for a couple years. Anyway, so it's six plus. So um, first thing you want to do is what's in the parentheses, right? PEMDAS. So 7 over 3 times 9. Well, how do we, gosh, how do we do that? That's a whole number. Well, we just talked about that today, and we've talked about it before. 7 over 3 times, we are got to turn 9 into a fraction. So just put a 1 underneath any whole number that you want to turn into a fraction. Well, uh, here we can do some cross-canceling. I'm looking at 3 and 9 here. So there's a number that will go into both of them evenly. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times. Then we just multiply straight across here because we can't do any more cross-canceling. So 7 times 3 is 21. 1 times 1 is 1. So this is another way of saying 21. So what's in the parentheses is really just 21. 6 plus 21 is what? 27. So the answer to number, uh, what is that, number 1 here at the bottom of that first page is 27. Okay. Um, turning the sheet over several problems there um, oh let's uh, let's look at number four I'm sorry number two and uh, we'll do number two down there at the bottom also and then I'm going to end this video here so um, so it's 68.9 68 and we're subtracting 12.4. Make sure you line up the decimals. That's really important. A lot of you are still kind of being sloppy with your writing. So 4 from 9 is 5. Bring the decimal straight down. 2 from 8 is 6. 1 from 6 is 5. So there's your answer. It's 56.5. Uh, 56.5. Okay. Um... I think we did this one in class, or I did it on a video, so let's just look at number two here. Eric, a fitness enthusiast, and I think I did this one too on a video, but you'd have to figure out and watch all my old videos, what I've done the past week or two. Um, uh, so I'm not going to do this one for you, I'll just say that he visits a store and buys a, a tracker for... $84.99 and then a bracelet monitor for $44.99. How much does Eric spend on all of his purchases? Well, just add the two up. Just make sure you line up the decimals. Anyways, there's your homework help. Uh, you guys should be able to do these. Should uh, knock this stuff out here in 20 minutes. Uh, probably the most difficult problems will be the um, the initial ones. But uh, I think you guys, you guys can do those uh, pretty easily here. So that's it. Uh, you guys have a good weekend. I will see you Monday.